Okay, we have quickly gone through this training. It shows how good you guys are. Everybody pat your little bit before. Right in front of you. Right in front. Now, here's the thing. Whether you realize it or not, each of you was meant to be here today. You were meant to be here. Whether you realize it or not, you were born to be umpires because you are that good. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret that a lot of people don't know. You will not find this in any book anywhere because it's passed down from umpire to umpire throughout all the ages. That's this signal. That means good job, Blue. You did well. So for you guys, bam, nice job. Okay, questions? Yes? When uh, they're leaving early, do we give a warning? No, no. Do we give it if they're 10 and under? Well, so you'll have to talk know. to Michelle. If it's six and under, right. Michelle will let you know. If it's eight and under, Michelle will let you know. What do they do? They can't leave. They can't. They can't steal on, in a lot of those leagues. So you're gonna have to know the rules. So at the start of the game, you'll review those rules. Yeah. Okay. For my league, the ten and under is where's Tyler at? You're right in front of me. No, Tyler, you bang them out every time. And don't you know? Don't give me this dead ball, sucker. You that for me. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do any of that. <laughs> Okay? None of that. I'm going to play with Jake. Yeah. We're, we're not going to do any of that. Because the point of the ball game for the 10 and unders is for the girls what? To have what? Fun. fun. To have fun. Okay? So we're going to work with them. But just like, you know, they, they get three strikes before they're out. That's part of the rules. If they get four balls, what do they do? They get to what? They get to walk to first base. And in the 10 and 9 is it's going to be a lot of ball, 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 walk to first base. The next one, ball, 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 walk to first base. So realize that even me, postseason NCAA softball, I'm in there, I'm practicing my stuff with this 10 and under. Even if it's ball, 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 ball. Because that pitcher out there, this game is important to her. It's important to her family. It's important to the girls that are out there, to the girls that are batting. Batting. Five years from now, nobody's going to care who won or lost, but they're going to remember the game. I had a 14 and under catcher who was really, really, really good. I mean, like, I am not kidding. She was really good. I told her, catcher, you're really good. You could play college softball right now at age 14. And I said, after our parents here, you have to write over there. After the game was over, I went over and told our parents the same thing. How do you think that ride home in the car went? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Years later, I had this coach come down. I was working with two umpire systems. Years later, I had a coach come up to first base side and talk to me. She said, hey, Blue, do you remember me? I said, no, coach, I made a lot of people. She said, when I was 14, you told me I could play college ball. Mm -hmm. I said, did you? She said, yes, I played at St. Cloud State. So no matter what you do, we get a lot of opportunity to influence these girls. We want to tell them, good job. If the catcher is freaking horrible, what positive thing can we say to them? You're working really what? Hard. Hard. You're working really hard for me, catcher. Good job. Your knees are all getting banged up. You get hit right in the end of five right here, but oh my <coughs> man, that really hurts. But she feels proud because she's working what? Hard. Hard. Yes. Okay, we have some closing things. Um, 